This is your anchor, Kekri Zanya Solo, for the headlines. In a major move, U.S. announced a major deployment of defense system in Middle East region and directed a series of additional steps to strengthen the defense posture in the Middle East region. An IAF C-17 flight carrying nearly 6.5 tons of medical aid and 32 tons of disaster relief material for the people of Palestine departed for El Arish Airport in Egypt on Sunday from Ghaziabad's Hindan Air Base. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni wants, wants the conflict in Middle East to be over and said, we must do the impossible to avoid escalation of crisis. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh today after attending the sending off program for Manipur athletes to the 37th National Games that is to be held in Goa said he expects Manipur to come first in the overall positions in the Games. October 21. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III directed a series of additional steps to strengthen the defense posture in the region. The steps have been taken to tackle Iran's recent escalations and its proxy forces across the Middle East region. The deployment will bolster regional deterrence efforts, increase force protection for the U.S. and assist Israel's defense. The U.S. also activated the deployment of a terminal high-altitude area defense to locations throughout the region. Earlier, Biden made a shocking claim holding Iran accountable for the unrest in West Asia. The U.S. president alleged that Iran is supporting Hamas and other terrorist groups in the region. The Samajwadi Party in Uttar Pradesh on Sunday held its party conference at Sagar Venkat Hall on Anchor Nurpur Road. Former Minister Manoj Parash District, President Anil Yadav and hundreds of party workers participated in the program. Samajwadi Party MLA Swami Omvesh addressing the conference said that we need 50 MPs in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections and then no, no one can stop MLA Akhilesh Yadav from becoming the Chief Minister of the country. Former Minister Manoj Paras Nagina, District President Anil Yadav, Mohsin Ansari, Dr. Lakhan Singh Pal, Dr. Ramesh Tomar, Aklak Papu District Spokesperson, Principal Firoz Alam Bablu and other spoke during the conference. अतिथियों का आप सभी का मैं हृदय की गहराइयों से आपके स्वागत अभिनंदन और वंदन करता हूं मंच पर आपसे नकीना विधानसभा क्षेत्र के बहुत ही सम्मानित यशस्वी तेजस्वी दलितों की गरीबों की मजदूरों की गरीबों की किसानों की अल्पसंख्यकों की लड़ाई लड़ते हुए तीन बार विधायक बने मंत्री बने मेरे प्रिय भाई प्रिय साथी समाजवादी पार्टी के वरिष्ठ नेता अखिलेश यादव के बहुत ही चहेते आदरणीय मनोज पारसी मंच पर आसीन जिले के बहुत सम्मानित अध्यक्ष बहुत ही मेहनती सबको एक साथ लेकर के चलने वाले मेरे प्रिय भाई प्रिय साथियों के धन ये तुमसे वादा करता है कि जिले में कहीं भी लड़ाई होगी प्रदेश में कहीं भी लड़ाई होगी लड़ने का काम करूंगा आपके साथ एक दिन पे धन विधायक महोदय जिला अध्यक्ष महोदय मान्य तोमर जी ध्यान से सुने आप कल हम लोग तहसील में 
हम लोग तहसील में तहसील दिवस में गए थे कुछ अपनी समस्या लेकर ये एक सेकंड की बात है दिलाई जी आपसे मेरा निवेदन है कप्तान साहब से बात करके जिला अध्यक्ष से बात करेंगे इतना अत्याचार आपने कई सौ लोगों के बीच में उस ग्राम के धर्म की बेजती की होगी और उसको अरेस्ट हो गया क्योंकि हम लोग कल मीटिंग करके फैसला लेंगे कल हमारी ब्लॉक की मीटिंग है हम अपना जो भी हम ज्यादा से ज्यादा देना चाहते हैं हम आप सब लोगों के साथ खड़े हैं बचाते आप भी इसमें हमारे संघर्ष में हमारा साथ दीजिए कोई भी हमारे शादी होकर परेशान करेगा तो एक हमें आप लोगों से उम्मीद है क्योंकि आप हमारे नेता हैं CNIM issued a press release stating that the Nagas, the Metis and the Kukis come from common history and are brothers of Mongoloid family. In regard to the much talked about Tangkul and Meti brotherhood, history is very clear, it stated. The story is however confined only to Hungdong village and does not apply to the whole Tangkuls, the NSCNIM stated. History has it that one Tangkul brother from Hundung village went down to the present Imphal Valley and settled down there to live with the Meiti community. A story also says there are cases some Tangkuls and other Naga tribes who were married to Kuki women settled in their land and lived with the Kuki community, the press release stated. While one cannot undermine the blood relationship between the Hundong royal family and the Metis, one should not take it too far to give wrong meaning to it. All Tangkuls are not part of the Hongdong royal family. Hongdong was one big village in the Tangkul community that time, the group stated. That does not mean Hongdong village represents the whole Tangkuls and therefore the relationship is not about the Tangkul and Meiti, but Hongdong village royal family and few Meiti clans and the royal family in the Imphal Valley, the NSC and IM stated. Further, it stated that individual inter-tribal marriage never meant tribe-level bonds when the relationship is only between the two families. The Naga people should not be carried away or misled by propaganda by people with vested interests to dilute the sanct sanctity and distinct Naga national identity. In days gone by, the past generation traced their brotherhood only in bloodline, but things have changed now where ideological brotherhood and brotherhood in one faith counts, it stated. NSC and IM also cited the case of Pakistan and India and East Bengal and West Bengal. They come from the same bloodline, speak the same language and read the same scripts. But the NSC and stated they were divided on the lines of religion and politics. On Canadian diplomatic presence in India, EAM Dr. S. J. Shankar says there, there's this whole issue of parity that size of how many diplomats there are of country versus how many diplomats there are of the other country. Parity is very much provided for by the Vienna Convention, which is a relevant international rule on this. But in our case, we invoked parity because we had concerns about continuous interference in our affairs by Canadian personnel. We haven't made much of that public. My sense is over a period of time more stuff will come out and people will understand why we had the kind of discomfort with many of them, which we did. You would, um, there was, there's this whole issue of parity, that uh, uh, the size of, um, you know, how many diplomats there are of one country versus how many diplomats uh, there are of the other country. Uh, parity is very much provided for by the Vienna Convention, which is the, uh, which is the relevant uh, international uh, rule on this. Uh, but in our case, we uh, invoke parity because uh, we had concerns about continuous interference uh, in our affairs uh, by uh, Canadian personnel. Uh, we haven't uh, made much of that public. Uh, my sense is over a period of time more stuff will come up uh, and people will understand uh, why we had the kind of discomfort with many of them which we did. Meiti Church's Advocacy for Peace and Development Manipur said they condemned the non-bailable warrant issued against Meiti Lipun Chief Pramod Chand on 14th October. 
It can be mentioned that a local court in Manipur's Churachanpur district has issued a non-bailable warrant of arrest against Pramod Singh, chief of Mete Lipun, in a case related to a controversial statement. The warrant was issued by the court of the chief judicial magistrate, Churachanpur, after Singh failed to appear in court despite being served a notice to do so. The Hills Journal reported, Singh is accused of promoting enmity between different groups, defamation and making statement conducing the public mischief. The, charge, the charges stem from an interview that Singh gave to senior journalist Karan Thapar for The Wire on June 6, 2023, in which he said that all cookies would be wiped out or annihilated from the soil of Manipur. His comments sparked a strong reaction from the Kukizo community. My name is uh, Jim Rosen. I am the spokesperson of Makardam, which is Success Advocacy for Peace and Development in Manipur. Uh, we are organizing this press conference uh, regarding the recent uh, non-violent uh, warrant of arrest uh, uh, just uh, uh, issued uh, against uh, ship of Mitelipu, uh, named uh, M. Pramod Chan Ching. Uh, according to the complaint uh, lost by Keso of Sosampu, it is very, very, very unfortunate uh, incident. Uh, so, as people of Manipur uh, know, M. Pramod Chan did not do any, any severe crime. Uh, to face such uh, court order, because uh, he just interviewed with the current Tupper of the the wire on the last uh, June 6. He just uh, mentioned about uh, to blow the Kangkopi area if Maitai becomes united. It is very simple expression that that is not so much uh, deeply uh, concerned about the. Uh, crime that can be uh, issued then well, uh, warrant of arrest against him. Uh, this is uh, uh, suspected to be a conspiracy uh, to bring him to Chachampur from his uh, native uh, home in Impal. As we know that Chachampur is uh, a district that does not have a uh, any respect of law and order. So, ordering Pramochan Singh to bring him from Impal to Chochampur, that means uh, we suspect they want to kill him, we, they, they want to do bali in the Chochampur. By doing that, we suspect it. So, we condemn it. We condemn condemn such kind of uh, conspired uh, order by using even the state uh, missionary. Uh, even the district uh, uh, machinery with a conspiracy. And secondly, we condemn uh, some uh, cookie organization uh, always uh, over all tribal, all tribal, or tribal. This is also not the right way. They, they can use like Kizo tribal group or whatever they like, but why they are Covering all the tribal, yes, their uh, political uh, means or any other uh, opportunity to take by using this uh, tribal tribal. So we condemn it. And uh, all the tribals are not supporting this uh, tribal unity or whatever they are using and doing in Manipur. So it will be better to just uh, change their, uh, their tribal club because. There are a lot of tribals in Manipur which they don't support and they don't involve in such kind of violence happening in Manipur. We'll now take a short break. We'll be back with more news. We invest a lot on healthy living. 
Are we taking equal care to prevent HIV? Avoid risky behavior. Welcome back. Moving on to the next news. Samajwadi party leader Azam Khan and his son Abdullah Azam were removed to different jails early Sunday, official said. A Rampur court on Wednesday convicted Khan, his wife Tazin Fatima and son in a 2019 fake birth certificate case and sentenced them to seven years in jail. They were lodged at Rampur district jail. Khan has been shifted to Sitapur district jail and his son was taken to Hardoi district jail. Director General of Prisons S.N. Sabat said that the father-son duo was taken to the jails in separate police vehicles with adequate security cover. Both of them stepped out of Rampur jail at around 4.40 a.m. and reached their destinations at around 9 a.m. While leaving Rampur jail, Khan told reporters that anything could happen to him and his son and they could be killed in an encounter. Khan was earlier lodged at Sitapur jail for almost two years in multiple cases before being released in May 2022 after getting bail from the Supreme Court. Our encounter can also be done. You can do anything. सर बताया जा रहा है सीतापुर और हरदोई की जेल में जा रहे हैं किस किस को भेजा गया सर ये बता दीजिए मेडिकल एड एंड थर्टी टू टोन ऑफ डिजास्टर रिलीफ मेटेरियल फॉर द पीपल ऑफ पैलेस्टीन Departed for Al Arish Airport in Egypt on Sunday from Ghaziabad's Hindon Air Base. The materials include essential life saving medicines, surgical item tents, sleeping bags, tarpaulins, sanitary utilities, water purification tablets, among other necessary items. India has sent humanitarian aid to Palestine amid the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. Israel launched counter-offensive against Hamas after the latter launched a surprise attack against the former on October 7. On Saturday, as many as 20 trucks carrying humanitarian aid were finally allowed to enter the Gaza Strip through Egypt's Rafah border. Indians sent the aid three days after Prime Minister Narendra Modi conveyed condolences to President of Palestinian Authority Mahmoud Abbas over the death of civilians at a hospital in Gaza and reiterated India's long-standing principled position on the Israel-Palestine issue. The Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh today attended the sending off program for Manipur athletes to the 37th National Games that is to be held in Goa. Speaking on the sidelines of the event, CM Biren Singh said he expects Manipur to come first in the overall positions in the Games. Also asked about if the training and practice sessions of the athletes were hampered by the current turmoil in the state, CM Singh said that even though there was a crisis in the state, the training of the athletes were not hampered as the crisis did not affect Kumen Lampak Sports Complex, where the athletes stay. Also asked about his comments that Manipur violence was planned to press for a separate nation, he said that the state has been witnessing such things for the past 15 to 20 years and that it was not a new one. Today, uh, we're sending around 560 athletes along with the uh, official of MOA uh, to conquer the nation in the national games and we are expecting at least not less than 100 medals 100 gold medals can be achieved and uh, out of 48 uh, items category uh, we are going to definitely at the per capita we will take first position in the national games
Okay, even considering about the present many put more, many of the players you see could not fully you see uh, what to say practice their performance before they are this thing for me. No, I think you know. I think that, uh, due to the current crisis, uh, little effect will be there, but not at all. Because most of the players are regularly practicing in the Kumalam Park and the sports complex where this crisis doesn't affect. Mm -hmm. So I hope all the best to, uh, I'm giving my best wishes to the, all the players and officials mm -hmm. to get achieved and won the, you know, at least first positions per capita. Calculating in the per capita, definitely Manipur will get the first position in the national games. One last question, sir. Particularly yesterday you have sta stated that risky because of the, the present Manipur tribunal has started by those groups who has been demanding for the separate administration. How far it is to work? Oh, many books, many booklets, many demand. Yes, continuously we have seen since the last 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. It is not a new one. Mm -hmm. So this time only they are taking an excuse. But this demand is not a new one. T. Pulen Meti, Director of Sports Government of Manipur, while talking to Hornbill TV, said, In preparation wise, Manipur is making all efforts. He further said, while speaking about the recently concluded Asian Games, announced 15 lakhs will be given to all the people who won gold medals, 10 lakhs for silver medals, and 8 lakhs for bronze medals. Every participant in Asian Games will be given 2 lakh each. Government jobs will be provided for national games, gold medalists and Asian Games participants according to their educational qualification, Pulen said. Uh, my name is T. Pulen Meite. I'm, I'm the director of Sports Government of Manipur. So uh, what is the level of preparedness this time? Also? As done earlier, we are preparing like anything, like we have given all of all, all our effort to come up with flying colors in this edition of the national games. Asian games, gold medalists, we have a sports policy wherein we will be keeping 15 lakhs for the gold medalists and silver medalists, we will be keeping honoring them with 10 lakhs and bronze medalists, we will be giving them with 8 lakhs and every participant, they will be getting 2 lakhs each. And on top of that, we will be providing garments of 40 national games gold medalists Asian game participants according to their qualification, education qualification. All, all, all the participants that we have sent, they are the potential winners. So there's always a possibility that on their day, they will come on the podium. They will stand on the podium. Sometimes it depends on the luck also. Luck also in the sense that if the player gets injured or if the player, because of certain reasons not known to us, if he did not click on that day, on, on an average, we are expecting about 100 medals. That is all we have for the Prime Time Bulletin. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV. an important issue that often gets overlooked. It refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization.